If you're anything like me, you like making your music on your own. Don't need anybody around, but then sometimes you hit a brick wall. In today's video, we're going to talk about my secret weapon for making better music and better art. Hey everybody, it's Sammy, your favorite Ozark Canadian. Now I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit of an introvert myself. Love working on projects on my own, coming up with ideas. Love fleshing out ideas on the old 4-track. And I love working on the big projects on the 8-track. But sometimes it feels like I hit a real brick wall. Like I'm out of ideas. Like I need another set of hands. That's where the power of collaboration comes in. So if you feel like there's something missing from your projects, here's four reasons why I think collaboration might be just the thing you need. Number one, another brain in the room. What's better than one brain? Two brains! Now I gotta admit, I'm a chronic self-doubter. Yep, that's right. I can't ever tell if the ideas I put down are good, great, or terrible. Sometimes my terrible ideas are great. Sometimes my great ideas are terrible. And this is where having somebody else in the room with you can help you flesh this stuff out. Was this a good take? Was that a bad take? Is this a good direction to go? Is this a bad direction to go? I can't tell you how many times in the past I've worked on a project all on my lonesome, listened back to it, and just felt like I killed it, like not in a good way. In a, It had no life, it had no soul, because I'd overanalyzed, lost all the emotion, all the feeling of what I was working on, because I was too concerned about making it perfect or thinking it sounded good. So when I got it perfect, it sounded terrible. Here's a little exchange me and my friend Grant had recently. I think it sounds good. You don't think there's a, uh, there's a, Thing, uh, time and a wait that I when I say wait you don't think that's abrasive? Oh, I don't think so. I don't. I didn't think about it. I just no, sang. I didn't hear anything abrasive from the vocals. If you're the producer on this, do we cut more vocals or mm. this is it? I think I think it sounds. Okay. I think it sounds natural and like it, they work together. Okay, that's what I would go with. Thanks for sharing. All right, guess yeah. this is like anyway. Okay, we're gonna let it go because I'd rather do other stuff anyway. It's more fun. And in that moment, that was the exact thing I needed. I needed someone else to tell me, this works. And that made the whole session a lot easier because, whoa, I just finished the vocals in a couple of takes. Great, let's move on to fun stuff like shakers and tambourines. Speaking of shakers and tambourines, that brings me to my second point. When you have limited track counts, it's always good to have more people in the room. Ever wonder how those old records were made on two and four and sometimes maybe eight tracks? That's because they had a ton of people in the room playing all the parts, all at once. We've been able to utilize our limited track counts by cramming more stuff into each track. So if one track is just supposed to be kick drum, well, why not play tambourine nearby? Another track is a piano track? Well, why don't you just lean into the mic there and play a little shaker for me, Grant? Backup harmonies? No problem. We'll just sing really loud while we're recording everything else. But if I was on my own, on my 4-track or on my 8-track, well, there's only so much I can do. Yeah, I can do a lot of bounces and stuff, but then it just sounds like yourself. If you'll let yourself to bring other people into your projects, everything opens up. There's more air and more space. Number three, keeps me on time. If there's another thing I'm really good at, it's procrastinating. And when I work alone, nobody's emailing me or texting me, asking me how the mix is coming, asking when we're going to meet again, asking when we're having rehearsal, when's the next shoot date. None of that's happening. It's all just me. Well, that's really easy to just go upstairs and pop a videotape in and watch some old Unsolved Mystery videos. And I've worked on plenty of projects through the years. Well, it took years because I didn't get anything done. The song was half recorded, but I didn't finish it. The ideas to make the videos were there, but I never made them. See, I don't mind letting myself down. Boy, I sure feel bad if I let somebody else down and I make them feel like they're waiting on me. So it gives me just enough anxiety that I keep on finishing my projects on time. Plus, if you have to meet with people, especially as grown-ups, we only have so much time. So like, for example, me and Grant on that day, we only had three hours to track that whole song. From demoed idea to finished product. So we had to push ourselves and get it done. There's no sitting around and chit-chatting, getting lunch or anything. It's just, let's get the song tracked. Let's get it done. I guess the old word for that is accountability. You got somebody that you're accountable to, not just to yourself. Because we're terrible at taking care of ourselves and doing the things that we want to do. But if you feel like you need to do it for somebody else, well, you'll get it done. And finally, number four, it's good to be humble. Yep, that's right. Having to collaborate with people means you got to take yourself down a notch. 
not everybody in the world is going to think every idea you have is just the, the greatest thing ever to happen. This is something that took me a long time to learn. Collaborating and working with people means you got to put yourself out there. You got to get out of the bedroom, take the headphones off, and take a risk. Sure, some of your ideas won't be accepted. And maybe you need to be told that. Maybe that's an area that you need to improve on. Sure, you can make cool stuff on your own. And if you like working on your own, I'm not dogging that. But there's just something magical or spiritual that happens when people get in a room together and work on the same creative project or any project in life. That coming together of people and ideas, of you learning to compromise yourself a little bit to let someone else's ideas come in and grow a little bit. That's a powerful thing. It makes you grow, it makes the music better, and it makes all things better. I promise, if you'll put yourself out there, your music's going to get better. Or your creative project, whatever it is that you do. If you'll bring people in, it just expands the whole thing from, from, from just you, your little thing, to this bigger thing that's bigger than you. And that's a beautiful thing. Collaboration, the secret sauce that your project may be missing. I don't know. Maybe give it a shot. Hey, thanks for taking the time to stop by and see us today. If you haven't had a chance, go back and watch our video from last week. It's our first single that we put out, our cover of the Littlest Hobo song. I hope you have a great week. We'll see you next time. Oh man, the camera went out.